He was tripping. All right, so that's it. Uh, work's done. Time to go home, all that good stuff, right? So nothing special about today at all, really. It's just a normal day. Thursday. It's a Thursday. Now, package handlers, we get paid on Friday if you get direct deposit. I think I explained it, but I'll explain it again. When you first get hired, that first check is a hard check. You uh, get an actual paper check. After that, the second check is either going to be direct deposited onto your bank account that you set up when you first got hired, or you're going to get this goofy little debit card thing that UPS has this kind of thing with some company and I don't know the name of the company but they suck so your best bet is to get direct deposit as soon as possible when you start your orientation and do all that sometimes they mention in in the hiring process that you can uh, set up your direct deposit that's when you want to do it if you can um, and then depending on what bank or credit union you belong to you'll get paid uh, you know Friday morning at like 2 which is like so today's Thursday right and it is 1050 so I'm gonna my direct deposit will hit at 2 o'clock in the morning so basically when you wake up in the morning you're paid and again my goal is always to try to try to get um, at least 300 a week which for me it means working five hours Monday through Friday five hours each time it's 25 hours the pay scale is 15 an hour I was hired at 1450 they pushed it up to 15 so again going after that raise and the union and all that stuff we talk about that's the topic of the day so there's a lot of people in my hub that actually watch these videos that are on board with that they're like hey man what's up with that that pay raise right what's up with that that union 1450 or 15 dollars an hour for what we do is not enough money it's just not enough money we should be getting no joke for a package handler which we deal with dangerous stuff we're dealing with bulk there's injuries there's they have safety stuff, OSHA stuff. All the time, it's like, how many days have we gone at this hub without an injury? You know, right now, I think it was like 16 because <laughs> there's always an injury. So you're dealing with dangerous stuff. We, we process hazardous materials. You get hazmat trained. Um, we process explosives. I saw some today. They're packaged, and there's certain ways to process explosives, which is considered hazardous materials. So you're, you're processing hazardous materials that you touch with your hands and boxes of stuff that you process move around load unload spills there's sometimes there's spills there's like liquids there's detergent whatever all these chemicals that you're dealing with not to mention banging in things things banging into you and a McDonald's workers getting 1650 or 17 or jack-in-the-box workers getting that much and we're getting 15 doesn't add up especially when you have people in other hubs doing the same job in Seattle Washington getting 19 an hour which good for you I'm not hating on you I'm glad you're getting that I just want to be part of that brotherhood as a teamster we're all teamsters we should all have like pay scales it should be the same honestly um, high cost of living in California high gas prices high rent there's just no reason to pay a UPS package handler 15 an hour no reason at all it doesn't add up like I said, I covered it already. We deal with a lot of stuff, heavy stuff. We deal with high volume. It's a high, fast work environment, high pace. We have to wear steel toe shoes. You have to wear gloves. So I was wearing my gloves today. They, these come in handy big time. With all that kind of stuff, you're forced to drink water because you, you're you constantly moving and sweating. When, you, when you're dealing with that kind of stuff, the pay has to match what you do. And right now, honestly, it just doesn't. But on the good note, I always talk about good things if I'm going to talk about bad. The medical, dental, and vision here, I always say that is bar none. It's the bomb. 
It's good. It's very good. It's equated to firefighter, police, you know, like that LA County worker or whatever county you live in, government type. It's good. You have great coverage, medical, dental, vision. Very, very good. That's one thing that we do have. Um, another thing we do have, which is really good, is you're paying into your pension as soon as you pass your probation. And how that works is after five years, I believe it is, you are fully vested into the system of the retirement system. Fully vested meaning if you were to hit your retirement age, you'd get a retirement. That's what fully vested means. You, you've invested into yourself, into your own retirement. So that if you do five years or longer and then you turn 65, so you got a job, you got hired at 60 or whatever, <laughs> and then 65 hits, you retire, you're going to get a pension. There's not a lot of places that offer that. That's a good thing. I'm not telling you to wait till you turn 60 to get a job here and then do five years as a package handler and then retire because you will get a pension. Pension meaning you're going to get paid the rest of your life. A retirement money, a retirement paycheck the rest of your life that's how pensions work that's what a pension is a pension plan is a retirement plus 401k if you want to invest on that on the side and they match it up to 10 percent you can put up to 10 percent of your gross pay they'll match 10 percent um, the other thing is you also still get your social security too so you have three sources of income right there your social security for retirement your pension for retirement and your 401k now if there's anything else on top on top of that like if you're a retired military person or you're a retired cop or a retired firefighter then you'll get that too because you get a pension you see what I'm saying for the rest of your life now in the military to be fully vested you got to do 20 years police officer to be fully vested you got to you got to do 20 years UPS five years but you it's that's why they say minimum because most people aren't gonna get hired at age 60 typical retirement age they allow you to retire at 65. Most people are going to start at 30 or 35 or 25 or whatever age you are when you got hired at UPS. And you're going to work until you turn 60 or 65 or whatever it is for retirement. And you get all your money and then your 401k and all that. That's how it works. Now, the union contacted me today because there's voting going on for the contract, for raises, all that. So they mailed out ballots. Somebody mentioned in the comments to bring this up. And I have, I told him I'm going to bring it up. So I'm bringing it up. So he says, make sure you remind your viewers to vote. So I'm reminding all you UPSers who are union workers, package handlers, drivers, whatever you do in the hub, vote. Because you probably got a ballot in the mail. If you didn't, contact your local union, your Teamsters 396, local, whatever it is. For us, it's local 396. Say, I didn't get a ballot. Go, you can go there to the hub or to their uh, union hall and get one. Or you can have them mail you another one or something. But the voting is coming up. And a lot of these things are on the on the ballot, like better pay. That's one of the things. Um, other things on the ballot to be voted on are, um, you know, how they do their paid holidays or other things like that they're all it's all there like you study it when you vote you can look at the, the, the measure it's like voting when you when you vote on the school board or when you vote on um, street sweeping or whatever it's the same type of system just like that but it's specific to union workers like us for local 396 teamsters so I'm at a La Mirada hub I don't know what hub you're out of holler at me whatever hub you're in holler 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 if you're at Cerritos, San Diego, I don't care. Tell me what you do for a living at UPS. If you're a hub, if you work in the hub or if you're a driver or maintenance, whatever you do, and talk about the working conditions there so we can get the dialogue started and talk about what you get paid. When someone tells me what they get paid, I appreciate it because you don't have to talk about what you, what you get paid. But a lot of you guys tell me you guys get 19 an hour or 20 an hour or whatever, and then you're like surprised. They're like, hey, Cali, Southern California, you guys only get 15, and I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm surprised too. But hearing what you guys get paid makes me want to do more videos about why it's not fair, why it's not equal. It should be fair and equal. We should all be part of the same brotherhood or sister, brother or sisterhood. If you're a woman or man, 
local 396 Teamsters Union. We're all Teamsters, bottom line. We all work for UPS. And like I keep telling everybody who's just getting hired or about to start or who's been on board for 30 days or so, just don't quit. Some days are rough. They, it's confusion there. There's chaos. Supervisors are kind of like lost sometimes. They don't know what to do. It seems like they got a lot going on. Mad respect to the supervisors, management. But man, sometimes they, they look like scatterbrains. Like they're like, oh, and they'll do this. Oh, wait, no, go over there. And you see it and you're like, wow, they're, they're under a lot of stress, it looks like. To me, it looks like that. So don't let that stress bother you. Just do your job. You're a union worker, you're good, you're covered. If nothing else, stick it out for nine months, get those union benefits, or those medical benefits, medical, dental, vision. If you have kids, if you have family, you can put your immediate family, like your husband, your wife, your kids, on your plan, other than yourself. It's important because medical insurance is a big deal. You guys know all about that. Obamacare was a big thing, and socialized medicine is a big, you know, everybody wants medical coverage. If you, hopefully you don't need to have surgeries or whatever, but it's nice to have in case you do need it. The dental, get your teeth cleaned without having to pay for it, you know, whatever. No copay. You go to, you go to the physical therapy or the ER, no copay. That's great stuff, man. Like, you got to understand the value of that. That right there is a big, big benefit to working at UPS. But, again, we do need better pay. I always come back to that because we work hard. You guys know I'm not the only person here that works as a package handler. I do bulk. Some of you guys are unloaders. Some of you guys are loaders. Props to the loaders because that's tough work. You're like Tetris in there building walls as you work your way outside the trailer. Props, man, because <laughs> that's like rough. That's a rough occupation. And I give them props. But we're all package handlers. It's just, are you an unloader, a loader, a bulk handler? Bulk, I like bulk, by the way. I told you guys that. Or if you do Metro. Some people do Metro. Metro's cool. Metro, you're taking the brown package trucks, the delivery trucks that you see every day, the brown trucks, and you're processing those packages that are on there and taking them out and putting them on the belt. That's Metro. And if they have bulk on there, sometimes the Metro trucks do have bulk. You... Typically, what they'll do is they'll leave that water. They'll leave that on the truck, and then the bulk guys, two bulk guys, will go, me and another guy, and we'll get it off. We'll we'll deal with the the bulk afterwards, right? So what'll happen is I'll go there, and the the metro people have already taken off all the regular smaller packages, and they left the bulk on there. I'll grab the bulk, I'll put it on the belt. And then there's a guy that's down there to receive the bulk and pull it off the belt, put it onto uh, the carts, the big metal carts for the trains, the robot trains. And then he takes, or I take, one of us, we both take those full carts, the robot train carts, and we go in and we induct it. And we just process it that way. And that's what we do. That's one thing, that's one of the things we do for bulk if we're working Metro. And, you know, this is, you guys know, some of you guys do it. If you're not, like I say, after six months, you can bid. After six months, you can change jobs. You should be able to say, I want to go do that. And if there's an opening and you, you put in the bid request, it's seniority based. As long as you have the seniority, you'll get it. That's how it works. If there's any questions on seniority, ask me. Seniority is one of the one of the benefits of being a union worker. That's that's what seniority is all about. Is if you've been there longer than this guy, then you get first dibs. That's how it works. It's hard to explain unless you know what I'm talking about. But if it's it's not it's a very basic concept. So pay raises, voting coming up, get your ballot, call your union hall or get in contact with your union. And um, if you don't know who the who the the union shop steward is at your um, at your hub, find out, man, and and get a hold of them. They owe you T-shirts. After 90 days, you're supposed to get a T-shirt. I don't even have mine yet, and I've been there almost four months now. So I want a T-shirt, dog on it. But even with all that being said, many, 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 many thanks for all your views. I was at 400. Uh, subscribers today 
and uh, it hit 400 today, and then all of a sudden, it went down to 399 after a few hours. So somebody pulled out. <laughs> so maybe my videos didn't appeal to them. But e either way, I'm, I'm super happy to do these videos, man. And so ask questions. I post as often as I can. And um, thanks, you guys, for watching. Again, your questions help me. So ask me questions and uh, be specific to what you're talking about at your hub or whatever, or whatever I'm talking about. And if I know anything, I'll tell you. And if not, I'll find out. That's how I try to do it. Thanks for watching. Again, much love. Peace. Go Union. And uh, simplify to the, to the Teamsters out there. All right. Peace.